What's going on guys? Adam Patterson out here today, of course, coming at you for the channel. Uh, basically today what I wanted to speak to you guys about was branding. What is it? How do you do it? And uh, basically where does it take you? And what it is in general terms is a brand is a reputation for either yourself or a business. You can, of course, be yourself a business. Uh, there's a lot of people who do it. Ryan Reynolds is a great example. The Rock is a brand for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Kevin Hart is his own brand. He's got the Hart Productions. He's got Hart everything. Uh, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, these people are in themselves a brand. So it really goes along with influencers, um, but it is also a business. And a business is, it needs a reputation. It has to have a brand. And the brand is what speaks for you before you ever enter the room. So in the world of sales, you your business has a brand of being they're, they're great. You really want to work with them. They deliver everything quick. They really solve your issues. But the salesperson themselves has a brand themselves as well. So if you're in business to business sales where you go in, you work on large deals, you work on large mergers, you, you, you sell a complex sale. You have to have a reputation. You have to have your own brand within the industry of he's the guy to go to if you need this problem solved. He's the guy to go to if you need this equipment in the shortest amount of time. He's the guy to go to if you need this amount of shirts at this date. He's the guy who will go and do everything for you. So you definitely need your own brand within the space that you're working in. And what, is that, what does that really mean? So your brand is something that builds up. So say you're the business owner. The brand is literally, in the truest sense, it is you. It is all of your best qualities. It is all of your worst qualities. And what you'd really like to do is eliminate the worst qualities out of it. You want your best qualities to be the brand and what speaks for you. So the brand is your reputation, first and foremost. So I guess we could write it down back here. Uh, brand. Brand is your reputation. What else could it be? Your brand is, is your message and your mission that you'd really like to get out to the world. So if you're working, you know, B to B, it's just your reputation, what gets you from spot A to spot B to really close the deals. It's what speaks for you before you enter the room. But what is it built off of? It's built off the message and the mission that you really want to get out to the world. So say you're an eco-friendly company, your brand is that you are eco-friendly. You're here for environmental conservation. You're really here to save the planet. You want to make the world a better place tomorrow than it is today. That's really what the brand stands for, and that's what people will know you by. So your brand is literally your reputation in every degree. In a business-to-business, it's your reputation between you know your customers and yourself. In a B2C, it's a reputation between your customers and yourself. And it really is from the message of the mission, and it all starts from the ownership. So you really want to brand yourself. You really want to put your message out there, and it can be a lot of things. You can represent it with a lot of things, so it can be represented by the mission, the message, or it can be a symbol. You know, symbols represent a lot of people. Your brand speaks for you. Apple, their brand is to think different. How you recognize Apple? With the symbols. They have the Apple. Um, that's really the greatest example that you could ever give. It's think different and just it builds a community. So for myself, this is our company logo, Analec Incorporated. We're, we're an apparel wholesaler, so we don't really have a clothing brand. We just wear these internally, uh, and I just wear them because I'm the owner and I'm proud of it. But what it really stands for, and telekey is my favorite word in the English language, and it's the actualization of potential. So it's literally your thoughts becoming reality or your dreams becoming reality. And I thought that was a lot of fun because the business itself, building a business, is what I've always wanted to do. I, I think it started when I was maybe seven years old. So I took my favorite word in the English language, made a new version of it. And then this right here actually comes from physics, where, you know, potential energy is transmuted into realized energy. I'm not even sure what the word for it is, but that is what the meaning of the company is for me. And it's all of my energy, all of my thoughts, everything that consumes me. And it's actually happening and it's been becoming a reality for me. So I thought it worked perfectly. So your brand should really speak for you before you ever enter a room. It should be your predecessor. And when you enter a room, you should complement what your brand is. You should have already thought about these things, premeditated on them for what you would like your brand to be, what you would like it to say, 
what you would like it to be known for. And then you act on those characteristics. So that is branding. That is what a brand is. And you should do everything within your power to work on your brand, build your brand, because these are the things that speak for you when you're not in a room, when you're not in the room. So if someone's bringing up, what, what should we do to get apparel for myself? I want people in that office space to go, hey, I've heard of this company. Maybe we should check them out. Hey, I've heard of this company. Let's go buy from them. Or we've already worked with this company. We love them. They're exactly what they say they are. Let's work with them again. That is what the goal is for building your brand because the brand lives on forever. You can do as much promotion. You can do as much advertising as you want to get to the top of people's minds. But if you haven't hit them every seven seconds with a new advertisement, how do they know that you're around? That's your brand. That's your brand right there. So that is what you need to work on. That's what you really want to focus on building. And you'll hear about it all the time. Gary Vee will talk about it. Grant Cardone will talk about it. Brian Serhant, which is like the million dollar listing guy. He talks about it all the time. He spends like 80, 90% of his time building his brand. That's what his YouTube videos are for. That's what his TV show is for. That is what his Instagram account is for. He wants to build his brand so that people know about him, even if he's not out trying to get in front of them. So if you're not one to enjoy cold calling or anything like this, you want to build the brand so that people know about you. They know to come to you for those answers for that specific industry and vertical that you are in. But that's what I had for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you some value. I hope it gave you something to think about. And if you would, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Comment below on what your brand is, what you want it to stand for, or if you've worked on branding before, what action steps that you've taken to go into branding. Or if you'd like a video from me to think about and transpose all of the action steps that you could take that we've taken with our company. Um, but, you know, in a more generalized sense to pass on to you guys. And then as always, if you've enjoyed, you thought it was deliver value, you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, follow along because we're posting every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes even Saturdays. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming along.